Hello, and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm well, Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Boku Bell. And I'm Captain Emoji. And today we're going to play one of my favorite games, Kirby's Adventure for the NES. You know, it doesn't surprise me this is your favorite game. You're, you're very much a Kirby person. Friendly. What Round. Are my... Vacu Round. Va vac <laughs> vacuous. <laughs> you both eat a lot, you know. I think, I think that's not an inaccurate description. I just I always liked it because it was very colorful and fun. Oh, and yeah. while it is a hard game at times, like I mean, yeah, there's definitely tricks and you know you can be better at it than somebody else. But I didn't feel like it was as punishing, I guess, as Mario or some of the other games. Uh, I, I had an easier time finding the one-ups and things, and so I, I don't know. I felt like I was almost good at this one. <laughs> uh, currently, right now, um, Mysterious Gamer X is playing it. Uh, I think we're going to trade off between levels or when we die. <laughs> oh boy, have patience with me, gang, because uh, I've never played a Kirby game in my life. They're fun. I mean, like, you know, there's definitely stuff to get used to again, like, anyway, but, um... A button's junk. Okay. B button's use your power or suck in a guy if you don't have power. Okay, so you eat somebody and you gain their powers. Yep, yep. It's a sort of a... a... a war... Uh, Highlander situation here. It's an interesting combination, but sure. <laughs> uh, if you do take damage, you'll notice that you lose whatever power you had. It's that little star okay. that floats away. Okay. So you can try and eat the star and get the power back if it's like your favorite. Okay. Uh, Press down in B, you'll do a slide attack. Okay. Press up on the controller, you float. And if you want to ditch a power because you don't like it, you can press the little button. Okay. Gosh, he's very cute. Mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't happen to know what his design is based off of? Uh, well, I know the name comes from Vacuum Cleaner. Really? Yeah, Kirby Vacuum Cleaner. Is that an American brand? Or... Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a classic American brand of vacuum cleaners. Um, uh, they're actually really good. Uh, I had one growing up. But uh, I had no idea that there was any relation to this. <laughs> uh, this is one of the mini-game stages that pops up. Uh, it's the uh, claw game. And uh, the small Kirby is one extra life, and the large Kirby is two, I think. The large Kirby is a little harder to get, and Mac did not get a good placement for it. It chucked it to the far end, which is a little harder to, oh. to manage. Okay. Uh, uh. It's uh, gone! Yeah! Good job! There's a whole slew of little mini games uh, throughout the maps of the. What is it, seven, eight stages? Somewhere worlds? around there. Are you guys any good at claw machines in real life? Um, well, here in the States, no. They're pretty rigged. Yeah. But I'm told that the Japanese ones are at least doable. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> Never had a chance to try a, a one that I didn't feel was inherently rigged. And we're so here we go, <laughs> Captain Emoji. Exactly. Handing off the controller to Captain Emoji. Got the fire power up, which is not fast. Not particularly. Pick up my thing. See, my first time with the with the claw machine, I did get the thing, but um, I don't want to break my really good record, and so I've never used another one. <laughs> I think I got a beanie baby. Are those little birds? Yeah. They don't have a power. So. Yeah, there are quite a few enemies that don't actually have powers. No. Give it back. Is that some kind of horrible dancing snowman? Yeah, it's basically. A, a poppy brother? Poppy uh, Senior. They, yeah. They, uh, they throw bombs, they dance around, and they're a big pain in the bones. Um, they give you a power called Bob, which is a one-shot thing that clears the screen. The entire screen. <laughs> Very useful if you're doing full enemies, but it's a one-time use power, so I'm not overly fond of it. There's actually a couple of those. There's one called, like, Microphone. Like he pulls out a microphone, and I guess the singing is so bad, everyone explodes. <laughs> or loud. Or loud. Now, do you think the Kirby was an inspiration for Sweet Sweet Jigglypuff? It's certainly possible. It, it does pre By a lot, right? Uh, 1996 is a Pokemon game. I'm sure there was material before then for Pokemon. Right. I'd love to see somebody's dissertation on 
upon the familiarity of the round king friends. <laughs> you know, little puffs of air that you toss out at when you inflate your weird enemies. So. Okay. As long as they're not boss enemies, get it? Yeah. You press it at the right time, you get to the top and get yourself a free load. Oh, that's really cute. I usually don't get that the first try. I felt very good for doing it. I was like, oh, <laughs> I get to look at least semi-confident. Uh, the door changes color if you've gotten everything on the stage. Okay. Um, if it doesn't, that just means there's some secret thing. Okay. You currently have the sword power. It lets you slash. If you press it while in the air, you'll have to do the cool little spin move. Okay. All right. Bear with me, gang. Uh, okay. This is float. This is jump. Press for you to let go. Okay. There we go. All right. And what's my weapon again? B. 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 Okay. Yeah, B's always your attack, whether it's... Oops! Well... That's okay. No big deal. Okay. Alright. So now B is to eat stuff. Oh! Boy, they're just gonna keep going, huh? Yep, although those blocks you can suck up. You can. Uh, although, if you float past enough like you did, you get out of the way of them. Oop! Okay. Oh, if you press the B button again, you'll shoot an enemy. Um... In the original Kirby, Kirby's Dreamland for the uh, Game Boy, mm -hmm. you didn't have the ability to copy powers. You could only uh, eat people and shoot them with other people. Okay. If you press down, you'll eat them. Uh, those guys don't have a power, but that's how that works. Okay. Okay. Um, your other option is to eat someone and then press B and again these to little, shoot. And these little birds, they don't have anything, nope. right? No. Okay. Another good way to get rid of other things is to fire them off as projectiles. Okay. All right, new power, and it's a uh, fire breathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. The little snail guy doesn't have a power. But he's a little. Okay. There you go. And whenever Kirby's in the water, you will shoot water unless it's a sword or something. Okay. Uh. You can spit up. Down. Oh. Can't eat anything underwater. Okay, okay. This is reasonably intuitive. You'll notice those little guys look kind of like that big guy that I bought yeah, earlier. Yeah, that's the little devil. Mm -hmm. They're uh, Poppy oh. Juniors. Oh. Uh, that little M down there—it's a maximum tomato. It gets you help. Okay, and I probably should grab that then. It's and this, very hard to hold a conversation when you're trying this, to get the hang of this. <laughs> and the star door is the uh, the door that ends the stage. So you always know you're at the end. If you, All uh... right. I'm going to hand the uh, controls off to Mysterious Gamer X. Okay. Okay. And we've got these lovely museums that pop up. With a colorful display display of enemies. Basically, they let you... They let you restock on a power. power. So, okay. if... if, if uh, Mysterious GamerX ever needs the sword again, he can go back there and grab that guy. These levels are... they seem really cohesive. Like, mm -hmm. everything is cute, everything seems balanced. When did this come out? Um... Late 80s? Boy. I want to say like 89 or something. It does look really great. Okay, so this little nightmare... Um, it's an arena. Um... I forget what the walrus guy's name is, but he can shoot ice bombs. And he is too big to eat until you defeat him. Uh, but now we have freeze, which means anything in that little aura uh, gets turned into an ice block, which then you can fire across the stage. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's... Being in Montana in the winter. <laughs> it oh. is very much like being in Montana in the winter. Don't even joke. But it's, it's a fun power, uh, it has a cool aura, and a projectile attack, so it's it's pretty good. But you can only get it from him, and then there's this one little enemy that looks kind of like a tiny snowman that does it. And what's your uh, favorite power? Mine uh, is probably either uh, that cutter ability that you saw, which was the boomerang one, or there's an ability called parasol, uh, which is an umbrella. Uh, it's a physical attack like the, um, the sword, 
but you also can jump up in the air and then float across the stage. Uh, and it's just really fun and looks super relaxing. I don't know, it's just very enjoyable to watch. Uh, that one up trap there. <laughs> Got it though and didn't get hit by the, the cannons. Almost! Oh, Almost! I don't know, I like freeze. I like stone because it just gets ridiculous. Um, so, stone, you turn into a big rock. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's featured in um, other games and stuff, but uh, it makes him. Hey, there, Captain. Makes him impervious. Uh, if you do it at the top of a stage, you'll fall all the way to the bottom of a stage and you'll crush things, which is, you know, that an interesting way fun. to fight. All right, and uh, now Captain Emoji at the helm. Uh, sure. It's our first big boss fight, uh, Wispy Woods. Yeah, no, this is working great. Uh, the nice thing about having an aura power is, is you can just sit there and spam it on him. Are you just straight up murdering that tree? Normally, he shoots apples at you, but you have to inhale and throw back. But at you didn't him. get he's give a, him a chance. He's okay. a classic villain from the original <laughs> Game Boy's um, setup, and uh, yeah, he shoots apples. Uh, usually, had to spit those back at him. Any projectile attack, you can forego the apples. All right. Well. Well, we've made it to Ice Cream Island. Apples and ice cream. Again, I do really want to eat some pie, but... Everything uh, is food themed. It's going to be a rough time. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Endless Mode. Please like and subscribe, and leave us a comment if you want us to continue on this. Yeah. Thank you for remembering that. I joke about it after we turn this off, usually. Thanks again. Thank you so much. We'll Bye. catch you later. <laughs>